Hello, my name is Nicole Engard, and I'm going to walk you through the steps needed in order to add a job to WordPress using the Job Manager plugin. Once you've logged in to your dashboard using your username and password, you want to scroll down and look on the left hand side until you find the Job Manager. Once you find this tool, you're going to click the arrow to the right of the title Job Manager and click Add Job. This tutorial assumes that you have already gone through the various settings for the job manager and chosen all of the custom fields you'd like for your job board. In the case of my job manager, I've decided to assign five categories. Contract, full-time, paraprofessional, part-time, and professional. You can apply any one or more of these categories to the job listing that you're adding. I'm going to choose professional for the job that I have right now. I also have an email sent to me by the person offering this position, and so I'm going to copy and paste the content from my email into the job manager. You can also do this simply by typing the content in yourself. So the job I have that's open here is a reference librarian position. It's temporary, full-time. So I could also choose the full-time category if I wanted to. I'm going to paste reference librarian into the title field. And since it's for the academic year, I'm going to come into this date field and enter that it starts on the 1st of August, since I'm not 100% sure of when the academic year starts, and I'm going to choose that it ends at the end of August the following year. You'll notice that I've done this two different ways. You can either type the date by entering four-digit year, followed by the month, two-digit month, and the two-digit day, or you can use the calendar pop-up button. Next, I need to know where the job is located. It's located in Media, Pennsylvania. And so I'm going to copy that, come over here and enter in the location, return to my email, and see that the employer is the Delaware County Community College, and enter that information in that field. Next, I have a series of text areas where I can enter additional information. All this information is available in the email here, so I'm going to look around and see that the position information is right here, so I'm just going to copy this content, come here and paste it into the position description box, and I have my position description right here. You also have the ability to format this using the rich text editor, so if you wanted the name of the location to be bold, say, simply highlight it and click the bold button. If you prefer to work in HTML, click the HTML tab and you are able to edit the content that way. I am going to repeat this process for each of the areas that I have information for in the email. No field is required except for the title, so if I don't have a piece of information, I simply move on to the next field. Also, the email seems to be in an order different than the one I would normally use, and so I just have to scroll around a little bit to find the appropriate fields to enter my information. I'm going to continue copying content from the email into the job ad until I have it all moved over. I've decided to add a to apply section to my job ad instead of using the application functionality of the job manager since the jobs I'm listing are for services outside of my organization. For that reason I've copied and pasted the instructions on how to apply into the application box. My final fields are the date posted which would be today's date the display, dispar the display start date, which is the date in which I want to start showing on my site, which is right now, and when I want the job to stop displaying. We have a rule that jobs are listed on our site for three months, and so that means I want it to be removed in August. 
since I'm not using the application functionality, I don't need to enter an email. And if I wanted to highlight this job for any reason, maybe because this job is with my organization, I can check this box. Otherwise, I simply click Create Job, and I'm brought to a list of jobs that I have added using the Job Manager, and I can see my new position right here, Full-Time Professional Reference Librarian. If I need to make any changes, I can click Edit, or I can go to my website, go to the Job Listing section, and see what it looks like for the public. I see that the job is listed right here, Reference Librarian, May 18th. Click on the job title, and I will see the full job ad. This includes the categories, the job start and end date, location, employer, so on and so forth. All the content I copied from the email. When I look at this on the website, I notice that the font looks a little funny and inconsistent. And so I can go back now and edit the job to fix this. I'm simply going to find the job in the list, click edit, and it will open up the editor with all the fields filled in. I noticed earlier when I clicked on the HTML tab that I was getting style information from the email. So I'm going to go back into the HTML and simply delete out the style tags that seem to have been carried over from my email client. When I click on the visual editor, I see that the font has gotten large again. I'm just going to go in here to the HTML, delete the styles. And preview. You can decide for your organization what you want the font to look like and what your standards are as far as design on your site. I have decided that I would like all the fonts to be consistent and so making these changes will update the job so that it looks like every other job on the site. I'm just going to come here and refresh the job page to confirm that my changes worked consistently and I see that everything looks the way I expect it to. Hopefully this will help you with adding jobs to your WordPress site. If you're interested in seeing our job listings, you can visit sla-phl.org or you can visit the official plugin website to get more information, find help, and read documentation.